Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to swatch Schmincke Cobalt Blue, which is PB47, with, hang on, I'll show you in a second, just let me swatch this out, with some of the earth colors and maybe even some of the reds that are all in my granulating palette now. I can show you the swatch card in a second. But I really want to mix this one because look at that delicious granulation, it's really lovely. So I want to see what I can mix with that one. So quick look, here's the swatch card. Here's the Cobalt Blue Deep. And I don't know which of these yet I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the Mars Brown because I want to see how they neutralize each other, I guess. So I don't know, maybe I should write down what I'm mixing actually. I can write down the pick number later, but that's a PBR7 anyway, isn't it? Yes, it is. I really want to mix the Mars Brown with my Schmincke Friend Ultramarine as well because it looks like it's fairly close to a burnt sienna. So I want to see what they what kind of mix you get with those two. Let's do a smaller one, just very watery. Yeah, that's a very nice bluey gray, I think. But it's also some very delicious granulation. I already slipped up the, oh, oh no, I didn't slip up. I meant to use this one, but it's not the Mars Brown, it's the Maroon Brown, which is also a PBR7. The Mars Brown is PBR6 actually, so hang on. Maroon Brown. Well, let's try the mouse brown next then. That was quite a lot of brown it seems, but that gets uh, that's a really nice dark chocolatey brown. I think I'm going to take the mixture that I have on my palette there. It's not very much left, but I'm just going to add a little bit more of the blue in. Just to be able to see what kind of gray we're getting here as well. So I'd, yeah, wow, that's so lovely and nicely granulating. Oh, I might as well do the mahogany brown. And that is PBR 33. There's so many browns on this palette, I really need to be really careful which one I grab because, yeah, there's like these five browny tones next to each other. And I guess the raw sienna is fairly easy to distinguish because it's a bit lighter and a bit different in shade. And then I guess the green umber. Oh, I might try the green umber next and see what happens there. But this one is also very nice. Maybe I should do another one of these with a little bit more of the brown and do that in a second. I just need to decide. Certainly, I think I want to 
mix it with the Mars black. I'll do that up here and then I'll use the I use the raw umber or will I use the green umber? Let's try the raw umber. Look, this gives you like a really nice, very muted browny green, which can be quite useful for landscapes, I guess. But also, I mean, I can see, I can see how you use this for animal fur, to be honest. It's not really a green green, but it's kind of green, and it's. Very nice. It's kind of, I really am a big fan of like earth colors and muting earth colors even more with mixing them with blues. I don't know if that's, if you can relate or not, but yeah, it's absolutely my jam. Okay, let's get some Mars Black. I will write that down later, but I think I should be able to tell that this is actually Mars Black, so I'm not too worried. And I don't think there's a blue black in the super granulating range. There's a mixture of Mars black and the cobalt blue deep. But there's there's one that has Mars black, cobalt blue deep, and I think there's a is there a PB28 or a PB36 in there? And I'm not entirely sure if it's like a more cerulean one or if it's the green one that I have. I would have to get the dot card out for that. Do let me know if you want to see that. If you want to see that, I will do it. But this is certainly going to be nice for like moons or for a dark night sky. You know, that's a useful mixture and I mean, unsurprisingly, granulates really, really nicely. Also, do let me know if you want to see a Mars Black comparison or a PBK11 comparison. The ones I have all have different names, but they're all iron oxide blacks. Hang on, I said I was going to do one more with where it's maybe a bit browner. Yeah, that is a lot more blue, isn't it? Which is also not a bad thing. I do really quite like this. Yes, and do let me know if there's anything here that you want to see like a proper gradient of. And if any of these mixes need to be explored a bit further because I'm happy to mix anything, I guess. Yeah, look at that, that looks really nice. Right, let them dry for a second and then maybe I can hold them up and give you a closer look. Yeah, okay, they're dry enough, I think, to be able for me to hold them up to the camera so I can see them a bit closer. I think they all deserve an entry in the super granulation canon, don't you? They all granulate really, really nicely. And this is almost purple leaning, this maroon brown, but then it's very, it's very red leaning brown. So it's not really surprising, I think. And I mean, this looks really, really good. I like this one as well. I like them all. I, surprisingly enough, I like them all again. But yeah. That is definitely, I'm really glad I've bought the Cobalt Blue Deep now. Guess that's really a useful other blue to have for mixing granulating colors. Do let me know what's your favorite and do let me know what other mixes you would like to see, please. And thank you very much for watching. Please give the video a like and consider subscribing to my channel.
to help the channel grow. That would be excellent. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now. Bye.